And now it looks like she's just kicking eggs out everywhere. This is definitely not a good thing. Hey, what's up guys? It's Austin here and I got a super cool video for you guys today. I got a clutch right here. It's a split clutch between me and Lord of Lion. And this female has been totally wild up. She's been trying to bite. You can see she still has some stuck shed in her head. But since she was gravid, after her prelay shed, I didn't want to mess with her too much. I had a little bit of a dry spell here. It is winter, so it is a little bit drier. I've been trying to keep the humidity up. Don't have a humidifier, but I'm definitely getting one for next winter. But I'm definitely going to be showing you guys some of the other gravid females here. So let's get into that right now. And the first one I'm going to be showing you is this pastel Enchi. And she was paired to an Orange Dream Fire Lesser Ultra Mel male. And she's gravid right now. So hopefully we can get some really cool Enchi head Ultra Mel's. I really like what Enchi does into the Ultra Mel. Brings all that orange in and just bans the pattern. Enchi being one of my favorite genes on Ultra Bell being my favorite recessive. I think they're gonna work really well together, especially with the Orange Dream, the Fire, and the Lesser. So I just can't wait to see what we hit in this clutch. Hopefully there's a lot of females. And right next to her over here is one of Lord of Lion's Pied Girls. And this is a suspected Leopard Pied. She has a really wacky pattern. But as you can see right over here, she's really swollen. That's where the eggs are. She was paired to a Banana Orange Dream Pied who is a possible yellow belly. So fingers crossed that he proves out to be yellow belly. We get some really cool orange dream yellow belly pieds. And this female has a really cool emoji on her tail. Let's see if I can show you without getting her too wild up, but really cool. Has a little smiley face. I'm just gonna put her back because she is gravid. And speaking of split clutches with Lord Lion, once again, right over here, this is another one of his pied females and she is just filled with eggs right now. Like, I've never seen a female this thick. You can just see over here, she just has a really nice overhang. There's probably about eight to 10 eggs in her. I'm hoping that we get into the double ditches in this clutch. She was paired to a high intensity orange dream and she het pied, as well as that special double het monsoon pied. So either or, whatever takes it, I wanna be super happy about. And just can't wait to see the results. And this is another one of Lord Lion's pieds. She actually just laid and we have a clutch in the incubator. So when I go over in the incubator to go and pull out the other uh, the egg bin for the next clutch, you'll go and see the clutch that she has already in there, which is just really cool. And then next to her, we have my pastel vanilla clown female. And she's just going into her ovulation right now. She was paired to a mahogany lesser vanilla possible het red exanthic 100% het clown male so i'm looking to make some super vanilla mahogany clowns it's going to be insane i really like mahogany into the clown it looks very similar to the stranger i've already expressed this a lot of times i do think they're the same and i do think that the super stranger is going to be an all black snake but let's not get into that too much it's too controversial let's get back into some of the gravid snakes and then right over here i have this really cool leopard girl She's a little bit awkward and she has a little bit stuck shed from her prelay shed right here. So I'm gonna go and soak her really quickly so she doesn't end up like that last Ultra Mel. She is gravid and she was paired to that special double head um, monsoon pied. So don't know what's gonna come of her. She looks a lot different from all the other leopards I've seen. So maybe it's the head pied influence, but I'm not 100% sure. Maybe there's another gene in there. Time will tell. Right next to her, actually a little bit below her, we have my dinker project. So right here, I have a spider dinker female, and it looks a lot different than your normal spider. The pattern's a little bit cleaner, the colors are a little more brighter, and then it has a head stamp, and once again, we have a little bit of stuck shed. Really need to get a, hum I'm not gonna get it right now, but I really need to get a humidifier for next year. But this girl looks a lot different than your average spiders. Of course, it still has the, uh, the spider webbing along the back. I'm really interested in what's gonna happen. I paired a banana dinker male, the one from last year where I made all those really cool pies. So hopefully I can hit a super dinker in the clutch not too sure what it's gonna look like but I think it's gonna be amazing so now let's go and move on to the next this girl is not yet gravid she's very close she's around 28 millimeter follicles but this is my special double head for monsoon pied and you can see she's already nesting in the back right over here and when they nest that's generally just before they lay eggs they want to get comfortable she has a poop here and they usually put a couple of year rates around the sides and that's just so they feel comfortable you can clean them out if you wish but they're just going to keep putting them there so it's just best to go and leave a little 
little bit of poop or urates there just so they feel super comfortable. And of course, she was paired to the special double head monsoon pie. So fingers crossed, we're gonna hit a monsoon pie this year. Billy has a female of similar odds. His female's at 27 millimeters, mine's 28. So fingers crossed, I can hit it. Hopefully he hits it too. He can get it first. I just want to hit one myself. So hopefully we both hit it. Let's move on to the next girl. So this is a blade clown female and she's just going into her ovulation as well. Last time I uh, ultrasounded her, she was around 30 millimeters and she's being paired to my Mojave Ultramel 100% head cryptic. So I'm looking to make some Mojave blade cryptons here and some cryptons 100% head for Ultramel because the Ultramel clown project is something I'm heavily invested in, something I really want to go and see. I've seen the pastel leopard ultramel clown and it just blew my mind. And that's why I made this clutch over here. And now it looks like she's just kicking eggs out everywhere. This is definitely not a good thing. I'm gonna have to go put these eggs away right now. Hopefully she didn't roll them too much so none of these eggs go bad. But let's go put them away in the incubator right now. So I got my bin here, it's filled with vermiculite and we got the water in there, the egg crate. Now we're just time to get the eggs in. So let's go open this up before she thrashes them around anymore. And she's probably not too happy. Hopefully I do not get bit here. But right there. Okay, calm down, girl. Okay, she looks definitely empty. I don't think there's any more eggs in her. I'm going to get her washed. But just before that, more importantly, let's get these eggs away from her. And they feel really nice. And it looks like we have seven of them. And that's really good because, once again, this is an Ultramel. Oh, thank you for that. This is an Ultramel bred to a clown. So double head Ultramel clowns. Once again, one of my really favorite projects. And if you notice, I have a lot of uh, cocoa dust on these eggs. And I'm just going to take them right now and just wipe some of this off because you definitely do not want all this coconut dust in there. It just leaves chances for molding and stuff you do not want. So you guys can use a paintbrush. I just use my finger or a napkin. I just want to kind of wipe everything off. I'm going to go and just do a little time lapse for this right now because this is going to take a couple seconds. So now that we got all the eggs wiped off, I'm going to go turn the lights off, candle them. Basically, candling is we go and shine a light on the egg, and we're trying to go and see inside. There's an embryo and some veins, and you're going to want that at the very top of the egg because that ensures that the egg's going to survive and turn into a snake. So I'm just going to look into the egg. Right there, we have all the veins, and right there's the embryo. It's that little thing moving. It's going to be a little bit hard to pick up on the camera. Very happy to see good veins in these eggs, and here's a really nice embryo. It's going to pick up see that little air pocket there and that dot in the middle that's what we want to put on the very top don't want the eggs to roll too much afterwards you want to kind of keep them upwards and if you guys are hearing that little rat right now there's a rat in the bin did have feeding today hopefully they all get eaten a lot of females aren't eating right now because of the breeding and right there we have the embryo and something really cool with doing this you can actually see twins sometimes you'll have two embryos here we only have one but sometimes you'll be actually able to see two embryos and at mutation creation we've been lucky enough to document it twice i hit twins one here last year hopefully i can hit it again this year fingers crossed maybe even in this clutch because really cool clutch and there's the last embryo so all these eggs look good here's the dad of the clutch this is a banana super pastel mojave spot nose clown male and this guy is just insane i just gave him a little bit of a bath because he was covered in poop and i definitely didn't want to show you guys him like that so sorry if he's a little bit wet but a really cool snake and he's bred to an ultramel so ultramel clown is one of my favorite projects Really need to make some double heads for myself. So clutches away. Got the females bin all cleaned up. She's all washed up. Hopefully she gets some water in her. Next week I'm going to offer her a meal. She needs to get her fluids back up. I'm really happy that all the eggs had veins. I was kind of worried. Usually females kick out the eggs that have weak veins or are infertile. So all of them had veins. Hopefully all of them make it through incubation. And we have some really cool double head ultramo clowns. I'm really happy about that project. And as you guys have seen, a lot more eggs coming in the future. And then I have a lot more other females being paired. About 45 more right now and some more to be paired in the future so definitely gonna hit a lot more clutches a lot of egg cutting a lot of updates more morph madness and just a whole bunch of other stuff so stay tuned for all of that hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace out